welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sam, and today we are on my island of Kona Acres, and we're going to be doing a speed build today. So the speed build is going to be between my resident services and my Able Sister Shop build um, that I did last time. So uh, yeah, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do here. I was playing around with some ideas. And then it sort of dawned on me um, an idea that I could do. So I've been playing around with it and I'm really digging what I came up with. So we are going to be doing a cafe bakery build today. I'm super excited to get started. I wanted one of these on my island. I wasn't sure where I was going to put it. And this just seems like the perfect spot. You come in, you, you know, you go to your residence services. Um, and then you can grab some coffee and bread or whatever you want. You can get your laundry done, grab a snack while that's going on. Um, so yeah, I just feel like this is a really good spot for that. I am showing you some of the things I might use throughout this build. I don't use it all, um, but I use a lot of it. And um, I'm pretty excited. I was playing around with customization and different design codes and things like that. All of the codes that I'm going to use in this build, as well as other codes I've used on previous builds, will be in the description below. Please go check them out. Go give some love to the creators. They are absolutely amazing. I am so jealous of the things that they can do. And I definitely would not be as inspired on my island without these codes or, you know, the creators who do these codes. So seriously, go check them out. Give them some love. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start off here by moving some trees and getting rid of the little pond and just making space for the cafe area that I am going to be doing. feel so bad for digging in this pond poor Daisy I just I wanted to do this today <laughs> she went, walked away happily though so I mean at least she wasn't mad <laughs> I'm just sort of laying out my entrance here for this area um, overall with this build, I'm really happy with how it turned out. However, I think I might go back and fix my entrance a little bit and sort of just, um, make it a little more cohesive, but, um, yeah, overall I was pretty happy with what, um, like how it turned out. So I'm just laying down this brick pathing. I absolutely love this brick. I feel like it works so well with the sort of vibe I'm going for on this island um, being like a farm core. I'm liking this older brick, things like that. So uh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out my next move here. Apparently just staring for a long time. I don't know. <laughs> I could not remember if you could put fencing over um, custom design paths for some reason. I was just so blanking on that. So that's what I was doing there was testing to see if I could put fencing and I could. So I was really excited about that. So I started off with a base layer of just the full brick and then from here I just went and sort of made the edges sort of more rustic looking, I made them more kind of overgrown, very used, things like that. So I'm just playing around with the edges. You'll see sort of my process here as I do that, um, sort of just like I said, dist almost distressing the edges here.
so I wanted the path to be a little more centered in the build so that's why I kind of moved it over just a little bit um, I don't know if it's actually dead center but it's pretty close So here I am playing a little bit with the entrance. Like I said, I'm not quite sure if I like the brick sort of on the path like this. Um, like I said, I think that's something I am going to probably end up fixing a little bit. And when I do that, I'll obviously show you guys what I came up with. Um, but like I said, for now, it looks fine. And uh, once I sort of get a better idea on that entrance, I will... Um, fix it and like I said I'll show you so I'm using the country fence I wanted something obviously farm e looking <laughs> um, but I wanted it something small something that um, would just naturally look good around the area and I am obsessed with the country fence I just think it looks so good it actually looks really good with the brick and I am just super happy with the fence here. I feel like most of the fences are really nice. I just wish we could customize them more. Um, I know that I feel like everybody says that. Um, but like really, <laughs> we could customize it. Because I love the iron fence, but I just don't like that it's blue. I wish we could change the colors because I am all for like black iron fencing. I just think that would look so cool. So here I'm just sort of distressing in the middle here, just doing a few little patches um, where you can sort of see the grass go through. And I just start uh, going through all the items here, just popping balloons. <laughs> Um, and then just placing them where I think they should go. I was trying to sort of also split it up um, so that way you kind of have a more of a distinct bakery section and a distinct coffee tea shop area, um, even though they are combined in the end. Uh, definitely wanted that. I love these wood ovens and I love that you can customize them. I was just going to go with the brown, but I thought the white was a nice pop of a little bit of brightness. Um, and I like that it came with the black like smokestack. I didn't realize that and I just thought that played off pretty nicely with the, um, the black iron on the kitchenette and the, um, the shelving here. The stalls I just kept pretty simple here you'll see I'm trying to figure out which stall color would look best in the area um, so I have the white and the natural looking one I don't really like the white I think I go in change it for a the darker brown and I still think I um, the natural to me looked the best um, so yeah, I ended up going with that one. Um, like I said here, you could see the darker brown. I think the dark brown does look really, really nice. 
Um, I just feel like the natural gave it a little bit more of a lighter pop since the brick on the on the ground is so dark. Um, so yeah. Here I just start placing items that obviously you would find in a bakery and a coffee shop. I do have them backward obviously because if it's a shop you know you're going to see the back of the appliances. Um, so that's why those are backward. You'll see the espresso machines backward. Um, the scale was backward. So um, yeah. The serving cart is absolutely adorable and I thought it would just be so perfect for the area and I figured I'd put something on it. I wasn't sure at the time what I wanted to do with it um, and then it sort of dawned on me that I need an area for cream and sugar and things like that and the serving cart would just be a really nice area to maybe get some tea or things like that. So. Here I'm creating another stall to sort of put in between the areas to sort of do like an extras. So like I said, your cream and sugar. Um, I think I put mixed fruit there, uh, things like that. So um, I really like how it turned out. It took a little bit to figure it out, but I do really like um, that extra area where people can sort of go customize their drinks and things like that. So here I'm putting all the, the cream and sugar and the pies and the cake back in the area. I love this bonsai shelf. I just think it's super cute and I thought it'd be just super cute in the area. Just a little greenery for the cafe bakery and I do add more towards the end. Um, but yeah, I just think it's super cute. Now I'm adding some seating. So I like these little square natural tools. I just, they're super cute. And uh, so yeah, it's just sort of what I chose um, on this one. And again, I kept them sort of that natural color. Um, just trying to keep things somewhat cohesive, but um, trying to make them pop as well. just sort of playing around here with different um, table where they should go and you know how I want the chairs to go and things like that so I didn't want them on the line I wanted them sort of moved around and just sort of rustic and things like that so um, that's why they're not in a line I wanted some facing in obviously different directions and yeah so here is the cart. I, like I said, I decided to put the tea set on there. I think it looks super cute. And just something you'd sort of roll near tables or 
you know, grab it right there while you're waiting for, you know, something to eat or things like that. I think in this build I used probably like a hundred customization kits. <laughs> it was bad because I was just customizing everything, trying to figure out what looked good and sort of the fl the flavor, wow, the color combinations. And uh, yeah, I was going to, to Nook shop like every five minutes it seemed like, so. <laughs> So here I'm just putting little pieces together, just little plants, uh, things like that. I just realized that you can't really see that fan palm, so I'm going to have to move that out behind the tree a little bit, um, just so you can see, see it a little better. We have the menu chalkboard, which I think is probably one of the cutest items in the game. You can just use it for so many different things, and I just thought it would be obviously be perfect in a cafe bakery area so I was sort of trying to find something here that would sort of be like a makeshift cash register like, why don't we have one of these items in the game by now? <laughs> like, everybody's making their own shops, so unless I missed it, I don't know. But I did see someone actually used a fax machine turned around, and it actually looked pretty good. So, um, I actually sent one over from Bellhaven. I had a couple of them there, so I was pretty happy about that. So, I'm... Um, also starting to grab some of the decor pieces from Bunny Day, the plants and things like that. Um, again, just wanted it pretty natural looking. And here we have Miss Hazel just smoozing along here. She's exhausted. She was just checking out the cafe bakery area while I was finishing up. She's just so cute. I love the cacao trees. I just think they're probably one of the best plants in the game. I feel like you can use them for so many different things. And um, I know that they'll be sort of all over my island um, for a variety of different uses. Um, and I just thought a cacao tree in a bakery area just, to me, made sense. Um, and it gave a little pop of color that, you know, the, the area doesn't have. So... Uh, yeah, again, super obsessed with the cacao trees. And now I am working on the pathing, trying to make it look pretty cohesive and put together. daddy was giving me some items so I knew she wasn't leaving I had someone just ask to leave not that long ago I think it was a uh, pearl actually and I obviously told her no so I knew it wasn't someone asking to leave um, so yeah that's why I answered Dottie's thought bubble and now I am just putting a couple flowers down in the area I just sort of realized I didn't have any flowers so uh, yeah, just filling in where I could, where it made sense. I didn't want too many in the bakery section, um, but obviously surrounding it, I did want a couple of them. 
and I'm not really exactly sure what I'm doing in those areas next to the bakery. I have some ideas, um, but I'm not 100% sure. So eventually it will get de decorated around the bakery once I figure out what I'm going to do. So, And here I'm just sort of filling in the back with a few more trees. Honestly, these will probably get moved, but... I just thought maybe having a few trees in the background would make it look really cute and a little more full and rustic looking. Alright, and we are going to do the final walkthrough. I am super excited to show you guys the final product here. So let's go walk through. As you come up, you can already see the area. I think it's just super cute. I love the green. I think it just fits in so well with the browns and the little orange pops from the cacao trees. I love how busy it is, but not super busy. So overwhelming. The designs on the panels are just absolutely stunning. Seriously, whoever did these, they are amazing. Again, the links will be down below, so go check them out. Um, they just had some super cute things, and I am so excited to find um, these those codes. I just think they fit in super well. So here are a couple different angles of the cafe bakery area so don't mind my picture taking um so yeah i'm just super happy with how this turned out i can't believe i just got a notification in the middle of this oh my gosh <laughs> sorry <laughs> um but yeah so I hope you loved the speed build. If you want to see more speed builds like this, subscribe to my channel, comment below, like the video, and support the very tiny channel I have here. So I'm so excited to keep working on Kona. And yeah, so thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.